All right, we told you that something very special was going to happen after the 8.30 news here on WHO, and we're going to make good because sitting right next to me here is Sean Johnson. Sean, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. If I had a quarter for every time your name has been mentioned on this show in the last year, we'd be rich. No, we, no Bonnie? kidding. Boy, oh boy. You're in town because you've got the uh, big event, the 2008 Gymnastic Superstars event tonight over at Wells Fargo. Yeah, I can't wait. I'm so nervous, but um, are you it'll really? Doesn't that sound yeah. funny After to all her you've been nervous? through? Yeah. Are you more nervous than you would have been at the Olympics? No. <laughs> not, that, not that nervous. I, I think that was the most nervous I'll ever be. But. You know, you didn't even look nervous at all. I mean, oh. you just looked like you were just there. You were focused and <laughs> didn't look nervous at all. I'm glad. <laughs> now, Inside, you, I was about to, I was about to die. <laughs> is that right? Yeah. Wow. You've had a tour, haven't you, after the Olympics was over? Because I was thinking, I even told Bonnie, I said, boy, it's going to be nice for Sean. She can get home, get some <laughs> re- rest and relaxation. And that's not really what happened, was it? No. Um, pretty much, I came home one day after the Olympics and basically just to repack. I headed out to Reno and... In Reno, we had like a two-week rehearsal to kind of put the tour together, and then we've been on tour since, ever since then. So the beginning of September is when we started, and we have three days left, but um, sad and and happy about it at the same time. <laughs> so how is this tour different than uh, the Olympics, for example? Um, it's not like a traditional competition. It's more of a show and entertainment thing. We've got live music from Disney. Um, it's an, There's a new rock band. It's called KSM. They're a lot, they're a lot of fun. They're fun girls. And then we've got Jordan Pruitt singing to a lot of the songs. We've got some Cirque du Soleil type um, acts where they like fly and um, do like the silks that hang from the ceiling. They like a lot of big production. Oh, yeah. Huh? yeah, I mean it's a lot of fun. We we do a lot of like dancing and um, just kind of fun routines with costumes and stuff. So. I was telling Sean before we went on the air how proud we are of her, and I'm sure you've had a lot of people tell you that, but I mean, Iowa in particular, how well you've represented Iowa uh, in, in the things you've said and done, and you've been on so many talk shows. And uh, <laughs> Tell us about some of the shows you've been on. Um, I think I've hit most of them. You're on Letterman? I did Letterman, Leno, Ellen, Oprah, Regis, and Kelly was the last one actually um kelly dressed up as me for halloween <laughs> and they played this video of her like on the beam but it's actually me and they just kind of like um they shot my legs and then they d- she tried it and shot her head and then they, like put it together so boy, oh boy. <laughs> that was great so were you more nervous to be on tv on some of these talk shows than when you do your routine or um yeah Definitely. <laughs> I'd say the most nerve wracking thing I've ever done was I led the pledge at the Democratic Convention. Oh, yeah. I oh, remember that. yes. I but remember too. There was 80,000 people there. So I I was afraid I'd forget the words. Do you ever, yeah. you, you've had so much fame, and maybe it doesn't seem quickly to you because I know you've been working on this for a long time. But to most of us, I mean, this girl from West Des Moines, Iowa, all of a sudden, boom, she's <laughs> a name worldwide. Do you ever. Uh, do you ever kind of wish maybe there weren't so much of that now or do you really like Um, that i've worked for it for so long that i mean this is what i've wanted and um what i think comes from the hard work so i don't think i'd ever take it back or do anything different i feel like everything happens for a reason and there's a reason i was meant to be here oh that's great what are your thoughts about 2012 um as of right now i would love to be there um there's a lot of training involved Especially since the tour, we've taken about two months kind of off. It's kind of relaxing and having fun. But um, I don't know. There's something in me that still wants to compete. And um, if I can be there in 2012, I will be. I know you spent a lot of time thinking about the Olympics when you train and you lead up to Olympics. When you actually got there, how was it different than you thought it would be? Um, I don't know. I don't think I thought anything of it uh-huh. or I don't know I don't know what I didn't know what to expect since I'd never been there and I had never really seen in any other Olympics I watched like the competitions but that was it but I don't know I don't I don't think I could say it was different mm-hmm. than anything I expected because I couldn't even picture anything just because I had no idea how's your family doing with all this um a little stressed out <laughs> I'll bet <laughs> yeah yeah they just want me back home yeah also. sure yeah. Well, you could be home for Christmas, maybe, huh? Yes, definitely. What would you What would you do if you were a young lady like you are and you didn't have any of this? What other, What would you be doing? I'd be in high school. 
(laughs) (laughs) Um, I had to take the first semester completely off for this year just because of the tour and the Olympics and stuff, but... So do you take any correspondence courses or... Um, Not right now. I'll start that in January and I'll have to go completely through the summer to kind of catch up, but it's been worth it. (laughs) So Sean, have you ever been involved in any other sports? Um, When I was younger, I did a lot. I did track and field, soccer, dance. I swam. I really tried a lot of things, but gymnastics is what I kept coming back to. So... You've had such a taste of the world now, going different places. Do you think you'll move from West Des Moines? Um, Do you want to? No. I mean, this is home. I mean, every every place I go, I mean, I can be there for three, four weeks or whatever, but West Des Moines is still what I call home. So, And I think it always will be. We were just talking before you came in last hour, about the last half hour, about... Uh, Oh, texting and Facebook and all that. Do you do any of that, or are you not able to do that? Um, I text a lot. Do you? But um, Facebook and MySpace and stuff, I've you, never had any You could of never get away with that, could you? No, you, probably not. too famous. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty exciting. I know that uh, there have been some famous uh, gymnasts from the past that have been a lot to you, that mm-hmm. uh, have admired you here through this last Olympic run. Yeah, yeah. Um, my favorite gymnast has always been Kim Zemeskel. I remember watching her a lot, and she's like a mentor to me now, or a big sister. I talk to her all the time, and um, Mary Lou has really kind of taken me under her wing. If Didn't you she say that. once when she was in front of a crowd, I used to be Sean Johnson? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I thought that was quite a, quite a quote. That's yeah. Pretty she was. She sat with my parents at the Olympics and watched... Um, my all-around competition and stuff and was cheering for me. So, so Sean, how do all your friends deal with all of this? What do they think about it? Um, I don't really know yet. <laughs> you haven't had a chance Probably to talk to them. Really, have no, I haven't seen them yet. I got to see them one day, like my, my closest like girlfriends, right after the Olympics. We went out to dinner and stuff. But um, as besides that, I haven't gotten to see them. But they seem to be taking it pretty well. So will you go back to school at Valley, or is that over? No, I definitely want to go back. You definitely want to yes. go back, uh-huh. I love Valley. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's great. I miss high school so much. Do you really yeah. and miss the kids out there? And Yeah, all the time. Well, that's See, terrific. I can understand that because I loved school. Van, on I the other school. hand, no, was always be... trying to do anything he could to get out of school. No, I, would, I love I'll it. Tell you, I, I, I would too. feel more comfortable on a balance beam than I would in school. <laughs> that's how bad it was for me. Well, what about now? Aren't there some kind of games coming up? next year or 2009 or something like that um i mean there's a lot there's national championships there's um worlds next year where you can compete on just a certain event you don't have to do as many as you want or like all of them there's world cup events i mean there's a lot there's a bunch of stuff every year so do you think you'll compete in any of those um it depends on what opportunities arise but if i'm ready for it i i definitely will you just seem so well grounded. I mean, you must have been corrupted by this somehow. I mean, you've had all of this stuff there. I mean, I know there's a lot of money involved and fame and all of that, but you just seem very well grounded in all of this. Thank you. I I don't feel any different. Well, that's great. That's really good. You're an inspiration to people. You really are. I feel a little more tired than usual, but yeah, that's I'll about bet it. You are. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so the show starts tonight, what, seven, something like that? Yeah, I think so. Over at uh, Wells Fargo Wells Arena. Fargo Arena. I'll bet you'll have a lot of friends in that arena. Not to make you even more nervous. But, but <laughs> Actually, a lot of my friends can't come because the dome. Because a lot of my oh, friends are right there playing. Yeah. Up at Unidome. Hey, that's right. Wow. I never thought of that. Yeah. Well, that made me a little sad. But. It's really exciting to have you here. Thank you. We didn't tell anybody you were coming because we didn't want to start a mob <laughs> scene here. And I know you've had some <laughs> no of those. So, well, thank you so much for coming to see us. And thank, thank you, you for representing Iowa so well. Thank you. All right. Very good.